And we're back for round two of the Snow Squad. We're going to be using this version before we go to the uh, the Roaring Moon version for at least one more life. And if you notice, Slow King, which is actually the MVP of last life, did not make it to this one. And that's because we ran into too many damn Volcaronas. And it's too much of a liability. Um, so we're going to just switch to Tox Specs. Plus, I actually wanted to uh, keep it somewhat similar uh, for those who have been trying it out. Now we could have actually could have changed the structure. I could have put Cobra Cloak on Pex to help with Garg, and that would have freed up the Goldengo to be a completely different mod or to switch the Goldengo setup. And lo and behold, speak of the devil. But it also allows us to have a secondary answer to um, Gallade, which DJ mentioned. It's like Specs Gallade, Terra Fairy is a bitch, and was it this version? It might have been the might have been the roaring moon version because i don't think that one has i don't think that one has a gold angle so he might have been talking about that version but he mentioned sloking so well sloking's on both versions so i'm, I'm assuming it's the other one because obviously we have a goldie here though that's not a comfortable switch into choice pex moonblast so but that aside, that aside we have the pex and the pex is going to do pex things as you're going to see excuse me so what do we want to do here how are we gonna prevail? I look at his team. Volk is useless with Pex up. Um, Gambit's that guy. His Valiant might be useless as well with Pex up, but we'll have to see. Um, depending on what the set is, right? Uh, but but Gambit's that guy. Rotom shuts down these two. The Golden Go offensively can be quite annoying, but we have the threads uh, to at least soft check that until I get my way. I could also body him with mine. It just depends on what he has in store for me. So what we're gonna do is, um, there's no dedicated sweeper here. Um, Gambit needs a lot of conditions met before we discuss sweeping. Uh, so there's no real sweeper. We're just going to overwhelm him um, in the early game. No, because we're likely going to be staring down. Like, for example, nothing on his team won't guards well against Gold Angle, right? Um, we could be staring down Scissor. If this is like Choice Bandit Thief or something like that, that would blow us straight to a KO as you turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually did. I just said some random shit. One, I didn't know that one shot me. I just said some random shit just now. I didn't actually expect him to have Choice Bandit Thief. Now, him having that is not the end of the world, which is why I took the risk, right? I could have swung Pex. No, no, uh, um, no drawback uh, but I probably should have scouted that out just to make the good play because I do have to remember that I'm recording and obviously everybody who's watching doesn't have all the things that I have in my head like I've already weighed the pros and cons of if he was thief and whether he knocked me out is that a game losing play no but obviously you're like oh well how do you know that Jam? so I should do a better job of explaining that so I'll break it down from here on out so uh, Golden goes could have beaten something. I mean, it beat Valiant. We have secondary check in Pex. But we should have had a, the the Golden Gone Diao chance. The Pex is um, the Valiant is like Thunderbolt something, you know. So that that was a misplay on my end. Um, <clears throat> so what we're looking to do is you're gonna see uh, Rotom Wash go crazy. Or no, it's not a sweeper. But Phase One is gonna involve Rocks. Phase Two is gonna involve Knock as he goes to reflect. That's perfectly fine. Now this is a concern in the sense that, uh, in the sense that, um, well, what we'll do first. I actually did not expect him to parting shot that turn, so he's not setting up light screen. It's not it doesn't matter. Nothing he can go into um, can deal with this guy. You know what I'm saying? But he dragon dances anyway. As we're going to will o wisp, we should see gold angle, but this is lower ladder, so I'm not going to um, do anything. Yeah. So a grim snarl comes out. I miss, which is an annoying thing just now. Uh, that is actually quite annoying that I missed there uh, as we go hard pecs I again I don't understand uh, Terra grass okay that actually did a ton to me mm. I actually did more than I expected maybe I should have run spadef on this I like guess some spadef but it's nothing crazy so I'll recover again here because uh, that's doing so much which opens up value now he's terrored which didn't really matter too much in this game
Hmm. Yeah, I gotta be mindful of this. Cause, uh... Okay. I'm gonna make sure that I can take on Valiant in any situation. So he finally quivers again. Uh... It's at 31%. Fi Haze... I could go Gambit here and he'd uh, be able to sucker for I'm actually going to make that risk. Even if he does fire move, I can win. But I'd figure, just based on how he's been playing so far, knowing how you fire move there. Um, sucker should kill him from there. Um, no lum. <laughs> so, uh, interesting decision. Considering I just showed you sucker punch. I guess he underestimated what the gamster is. Um, especially because now you've got to reflect, but now you're dying, dying to rocks. Uh, so here we saw. Because I don't want his Valiant coming in for free. I wonder what his other move is. It could be in it. If it's Taunt, let's see. So we'll, we'll SD again. You won't go hard Valiant because he could risk dying. I'm trying to stall out the screens here. Uh, yeah, so he goes D Knight. Hmm. I could Terra Dark and kill this. Kinda want my Terra just in case the Valiant gets out of hand. But I can toxic it. Thing about it is that there's no reason not to go Rotomir. Um Is this the one facade Dragonite in the game? If he is, that would be a problem. That would be a problem. Do I Terra Ghost here to ensure no BS? Let me protect to see what he does. He DDs, okay. Just to be safe. I'm gonna Terra Ghost this. Just to be safe here. Um, I guess he could be something else, but... What would he be? Man. We'll just go um, Rotom back. So he VS here. I want to scout out his head. If he has Russo, I have Fire Punch. Okay. Burns me there, of course. Of course, of course. Of course. So that's his other move. I'm assuming E Speed is his other move here, which is annoying. Um, I guess I shouldn't have taken the damage on Gambit. E Speed crit me there, which is why I did so much. Um, Cause I'm like, why did that do so much to me? And he's not terrored. Crit me. So Goldengo comes in. <clears throat> we always go with threads. I don't know why he went Goldie. Is he in a trick? I mean, even if he does, like, what, what good is that? Barmy would not mind my threads tricked. Let's go hard threads here. Yeah. Hey, tricks choice specs. I expected choice scarf. Okay. So snarl gets killed. Let's see what the valiant is. Either way, we go hard picks um, and toxic speed. So no matter what he does the first turn, we can uh, toxic psy shock. Okay. So that, that's the only thing I was concerned about. The fucking um, valiant. Uh, I expected to be Choice Scarf now, but apparently that wouldn't have mattered anyway. So we want to keep threads so that we can deal with Gold Angle no matter what the situation. Um, so we're going to go to our Obama Snow, the weakest link. Get that snow going. Look at that. Look at that. We're eating it up. We'll get the veil up if we can survive it here. I didn't expect to. Um, uh, Ferrodum, protect for a turn. I'm so used to Hail doing damage that it's like, it's like Moonblast as he should. That's it, 32%, yeah. So Rotom's a little more useful than Pex, so. Uh, it's Pex survives. Survival! Okay, excellent. And so now, the Golden Go has Trick. I guess the other move could be Plot. 
We can haze though, but if he crits me with the shadow ball and then he's timid and crits threats. Thunderbolt, okay. So there's no hope. There is no hope. Uh interesting. Cause I'm like, why is this doing so much? Pex stays getting crit, bros. So um this man's having a, a grand old time with my leftovers. I'm actually surprised that won't I crit him. As I said, I'm surprised that one shot. I am not great tusk. So yeah, um Can you imagine if I had it, this is this is actually a great example. So if you saw yesterday's live, you know we beat all the Volcaronas because they had Volcaronas on lower ladder have a coverage move. Because in the higher ladder, it's just Willow is bulky, but all of them are offensive down here. And if I still had my sloking, that would have swept me, right? And what I don't like, as I've mentioned before, is losing to straight matchup. Meaning, no matter what I do, I lose. No matter how well I. Well, I guess you could argue, or you could, you know, tear a dark gambit and try to win the sucker punch war and whatnot, but that's no, that's no plan, right? So, because then I'm depending on the opponents, you know, because they have to attack me and they have to play the Volker runner badly because they could just switch it out, right, and you know, take advantage of the fact that I have to sucker punch. Um, but uh, yeah, if I didn't have Pex there, I would have lost to Terra Grass. Like, it would have killed my sloking. Because it's Terra Water. Even if it didn't kill it, I couldn't kill him. Uh, and then we're back to the Gambit situation. So um, I still had to play a bit riskier than I expected because I didn't expect Giga Drain to do so much to Pex. But I mean, it's Stab. I'm not Max Pedef. So um, yeah. So <laughs> poor Mads Tenacru uh, is living. He's, he's here. He's here to stay. Um, I find people do not think about Obama Snow mindlessly. He wrote him. It's probably gonna happen here, but we're still gonna uh, orchestrate a plan of execution, a plan of victor. So really, it's, it's relatively simple. The, the, the this is useless with my pecs around. Um, this somewhat, I gambit is what I'm gonna use to body bro here. But before I can do that, I need this gone because it's an annoying Pokemon. Um, I don't like that. Um, Thread's core purpose is just for the gold angle. You know, I, I'd want hazards, but I'm only getting them up versus Goldie. If you look at his team, Thread's is awful. Uh, Pex is never coming out unless it's versus that Volk. For the most part, there's really nothing to come in on. Uh, my gold angle is good uh, if I plot, but you know, she and Pao's a thing. But it's all about Rotom today, man. It's all about that Rotom, baby. As he's king watching me the terra psychic quiver dance bros okay so one motherfucker who knows how to use wisp folk in this tier wow we're playing a, a goat here we gotta be careful of this one you gotta be careful of this one hmm that gives a lot of info so we're gonna pivot uh rotom here for two reasons i know garg or gold Engo is coming out i needed to gauge but even if he stayed and he was gonna go for what fire dance rotom would have still been in a phenomenal position so it's low risk, right? Because if I double to something like Obama Snow there and he stays in, that's what's called. Um, yeah, you could. I know he's probably going to go to one of those two, but it's an unnecessarily risky play, especially when you have no data on how the opponent, the level of skill your opponent possesses, right? Um, and so this was a relatively safe play. Now, why is this beneficial? Because my gold angle, as I mentioned, is a problem to him, but it doesn't come in. Either. It doesn't come in easy, and I wanted to see if he Terra, because you know obviously I could have just Hydro Pumped him. Um, but I'm gauging how he thinks, right? Does he expect Salt Cure, cure Goldengo? He has Wisp Volk, so I mean I think he knows enough. I'm gonna Shadow Ball hard here. It's very low risk, uh, even if he left the Garganical in there. I just want to gauge what he's gonna do. If he left the Garganical in there. And just to go for Stealth Rocks, not just, it's important Stealth Rocks, but to go for Stealth Rocks, that would have given me a lot of information about, again, how the opponent thinks. Is he thinking, right? Um, so Garg was his initial switch on Pex, which gave me a lot of data. Um, and this is definitely Bulky Wisp Polt. Uh, Polt. Bulky Wisp um, Volk. So Morning Sun should come out. He actually asked for the Toad Squirrel. Um, I'm suck. I this shit is specs. What is this shit, man? 
Because the veil doesn't help me that much yet. It can, but not yet. What did he go for us? Okay, right. Cause, oh, I was like, why did he go second? I forgot this thing is ass. Right, okay. Phenomenal. Oh, that looks... So we get free veil here. Uh, why not take it, right? I don't need it. This guy stays in to wisp my, uh, my Obama Snow as if... Okay. So now he's gonna, he's gonna Volt switch out into the, the Volcarona, which is fine. Well, Earth Power... Uh, and what the fuck are you doing, dude? What what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like I'm gonna bomb a snow, bro. <laughs> Unbelievably, but that gives me a lot of data. Volcarona was always the play. There was nothing to predict. Like we were talking, we just discussed doing high risk, low reward plays. That's a phenomenal example. Of, phenomenal example of what we were just describing. All right, very high risk, very low reward, because Volk always can come in. You going straight to, because it's not like, okay, well, Volk comes in, what do I go to? It's not like any of the mines benefit that much from the, um, from the, um, what's it called? So he has the Morning Sun, obviously. Interesting. So again, give me a lot of data. Uh, the Rotom decision. I wouldn't be shocked to see him try to stay in here. Uh, but we're just going to play it slow, man. We're just going to play it real slow. Now, Obama Snow... <clears throat> Obama Snow's... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Let me see. Terra Dark. I just need a little bit more conditions met. Um, I gotta be patient again. So Aurora Veil again, he should Volt Switch. <clears throat> You're like, jam, he went for fucking will o several times before. No, they're just the solid plays. Now, Bomb Snow did absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing this game, which is a damn shame. Uh, this is a damn shame. Don't know why he quivered, but uh, don't want him um, will o wisping me. I guess Quiver is a no drawback play. Um, okay. So as you can see, Exhibit A. Now, in the beginning, now mind you guys, in the beginning, did it not, he came in with a Shimpao and a Veiled Pex. In the beginning, in the beginning, we discussed, uh, so Veil is up so I can haze. And there we go. Um, like, the Veil is up, bro. Like, that's the problem. The Veil is up. Like that veil actually came into handy. Now it could be Terra flying if that's the case. Uh, this will be a little annoying, but it's nothing we can't handle. Um, okay, so it goes to the Rotom, Rotom. So we're gonna get Willow is here. Mm, the Shimpao, don't have any data on it. The Rotom is an annoying nuisance. Um, but now Gambit, it's Gambit time. The gold angle is too problematic to give up threads for sure uh, from an offensive standpoint. So we're going to reposition here, um, have our gold angle do its damn thing. E Hydro's good fire. Unfortunately, hey, we have to recover, which gives Shampa a free switch. What, what is what is Brad doing, bro? What is Brad doing, bro? So Hydro does 30. We need Volt switch. So do, I need this damage for my. Um, for my gambit later on. I'm gonna be staring down Shampao, yup. Question is what kind of power is he? Um one thing uh, I guess I'm noticing, especially without slogan, because I lack offensive presence, the only mod I have that really does damage is the gambit. I mean, golden go is okay. So that's what I'm observing. I'm like, eh, I can tell what he's gonna do, but I have no way to dish out any serious damage unless I go gambit for obvious reasons we're not doing. So I have to like slow play this game, even though I don't want to do it like that. Yeah. So we're gonna give him the defense boost. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. As Rolem comes in, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Hmm. The 
definitely faster. There's no point in wasting time. Probably should have protected there, but it is what it is. From a positional standpoint, I definitely want Pex in. Uh, you might Volt Switch, but I think he just Will O Wisps. Let's Volt Switch though. So it goes to Pow. Uh, the Pow is back. The Pow is now. I can't lose DJ. If he's banned. That means I need what rocks. After rocks, is this game over? Not exactly, because this toad screw can spore my my Amoongus. My, I need my. Mm. What a pesky team, man! And obviously, we have no counter to Shen Pao. Who does? But like, we really have like we don't even have a switch in. Um. I could see a case for it, but the leftovers on picks is so helpful. So the spikes being up. The Rotom is low enough though, so. So I have to I'll have to let Gambit take a hit here, which I didn't want to do. Um He's banded. No defense drop, which is perfect. The reason this is great is because he can't switch into this either. Um Okay, I figured he'd give up the Rotom's turn one. So this is going to be a very, very, very important endgame situation. Um, what do I want to do here? I got a Pex because he's got a Wisp. Uh, he actually Fire Dance surprises me. He allows Pex to go back to full, which is big. I don't know why he went Shen Pao. Uh, this is actually great. Mm. If I tear a fairy this, obviously the Volk becomes a lot more annoying. It's not like the end of the world, but it's more annoying than it. I want the Toad Screw gone. If I tear a fairy, then he. And Rotom can 1v1. I don't think I need my Terra Dark. So I'm gonna Terra Fairy this to make sure that I can sponge the crunch. Wait, what? F are you s this you can what? You cannot make this shit up, guys. Only in God <laughs> What the fuck? Um, I, I might have just lost me the game. I gotta turn up on him now. That might have just lost me the game. True, true story. That might have just lost me the game. True story. Right, now I gotta add up the aggression now because the shampoo isn't poisoned. Uh, let me see. This can. This can go for moves. Let me see if I, I can't lose this. What the fuck does this shit do, man? This is not a Pokemon. I'm, I'm, I'm wary of him sporing. But I'm, my Pex isn't even weak to uh, thing anymore. Okay, he did spore, which I was hoping he'd do. Now we can surf. All oh, right, fuck, this, this shit is trash. Why is this annoying me? I want it gone. If it dies to, to poison next turn, I'll recover. He goes guard, which is an ideal, but. He's gonna rocks. I'll have to let Threads take a hit here. If I rocks, yeah, actually, he's never salt curing, so I rocks, even if he salt cures. Why would you salt cure when I just showed you Golden Girl? But I need rocks, so he goes, I'm glad he did that, because that was a silly play. Um, I have to play, like, to perfection now. Um, I don't know why I didn't just rocks the first time. Now we recover. Uh, Toad Screws comes in. Spore spikes. Is it Earth Power? Is he max speed? Like, what the fuck, man? Because I know he has the negative speed nature stuff, but I can't have him spinning. He'll die to hazards, uh, but I can't have Golden Why is this so hard, bros? Like, this is a hard game. 
Hey, this is truly a difficult game, man. Like, like this is almost insane how difficult this game is. Okay, so it pivots to Goldie. What did I just have in? I might have shadow balled you there. You were done. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro is a madman, bro. Uh, so we gotta go Rotom, unfortunately. I'm playing low rider. I can't. So basically, what I'm thinking there is, if I go Shadow Ball is always a play there. Because if I go Gambit, you die. If I go Great Tusk, you die. Uh, so now Rotom has to take a plus two Shadow Ball, which wasn't my ideal. Uh, I can still Gambit him. I'll have to get all my health back. Because I need the free switch. Oh, fuck. I didn't kill him. Question is, does he leave this in? I want to spin so badly here. Oh, there's. I want to spin so badly here. Oh. I don't trust him, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't trust this guy at all. If I spun there is a big fucking turn. Uh, so he's giving up the... He's not giving up the Volk, but he's going to the Volk. Uh, the Volk is probably slower than my Tusk. But I can't lose the Tusk. Actually, I need... Please fucking be slower than me. Yes. Then Quiver Dance, please. Because I have to get to keep Rotom here. Fiery Danced. Which doesn't shock me. Gambit. I got my Supreme Overlording going on. Because Gambit's the key. Gambit's the way. This isn't going to kill, but I need him to stand. Yeah. Yep. And now he has to go to Garg. I wasn't a thousand percent on whether he'd do it or not. Did he go for Salk here? <sighs> Got me there. But I think he's gonna leave this in. I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, bros. I won this game like 20 times. Now, it's not even about that. I just need the Shien Powder Range Rack and Sucker Punch Killer. That's really what this is about. Um, this guy right here is 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 like <laughs> is like dead in the brain on god <laughs> like like it, this is insane so obviously i think my gold angle is faster than his this is so funny this is so funny uh so because i let his guard heal my my gambit can't one shot him um so it's a tough turn right here because I can't afford to lose go. Question is, does he crunch? I think he crunches. If he has a good crash, so be it. Yeah, I think he crunch. Imagine if I talk in toxic to this shit. Imagine what a world we live in. Imagine the world we live in. So now that I know his gold then go say I'm gonna go gambit every time. Um Yeah, and now that he did that, we can just go for because I um, it's fallen three. Insane, insane, bros. This guy has lost his mind, and because he's lost his mind, that's why he's in, even in the game to begin with. And like, this should not be a game right now. So, really, all I need for him to do is lock himself into ice stab because what I need is if I sucker. He can't kill me. If I sucker, yeah, yeah sucker's a player. Uh, Cause then he dies to hazards. So if he sacred swords locks, he's banded obviously, and he's uh, there's no way he's not banded. Like God, so how much I should do to my um. No, he just. I swear to God, <laughs> we probably should have went pecs first, but I saw the crunch damage. There's no way in hell he's not banded. I probably should switch out here. Oh, what the fuck? It could be black glasses. 
Oh, I swear he did something. No, he crunched my gambit then switched out. Why wouldn't you have just sacred sorted there? Anyway, I would just plot here. Um, yeah, he's banded. Let's just fuck with him here. Man, this was a, a roller coaster of a game. And if you're still in the turn, yeah, you should have predicted. It wasn't about prediction. It's like, I knew I could win the game. But he had the tools to be, like, in Mons, it's not always the better player. Like, look at his, the structure of his team. Could wax me if he does the right things, right? Could just because one, the Shimpa is just a fucking animal, but Toad Scroll in particular, right? Like, that's this is an excellent case of a person being just clicking buttons with no plan, and it helps you in the beginning. But a thing I've said for years is your moves always catch up to you, right? So if you're just clicking shit and you're just, you know. Your moves will always catch up to you because they have no purpose, right? So if they have no purpose in the beginning and they work out in the beginning, sometimes you can win the battle. But if you're playing versus somebody who has a purpose to every play, eventually those plays will catch up to you because you're going to make the same reckless plays that got you the edge in the beginning and the end. And oftentimes in the end, they're going to bite you in the ass. And so I'm sure many of you have been in positions where maybe you were like predicting the shit out of the opponent and you end up getting clapped in the end game, right? But um, I'm really glad I had Pex again there. I think, I don't remember what his team was, but I, I think Sloking may have been better versus that. I don't know. But we're going to wrap this up with the last one here. Um, these guys are, you know, it's funny. Storm was saying to somebody, it's like, <laughs> part of the ladder, the, 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 the places I think the most are in the 1400s <laughs> and versus Jam. This was literally his words, and I was dying laughing. Because obviously, for two reasons, he's thinking. In the lower ladder, I think very clearly because i'm like i know they're about to use random stuff more time nine times out of ten and on the higher ladder i think clearly because it's i know they're going to likely have a strategy or some kind of um game plan and they know what they're doing so i want to be on my my a game as i'm executing things so in this one uh rotom's gonna body my opponent um this is absolutely body it I uh, don't trust this Garchomp at all. Me taking Sloking off actually made me really Chomp weak. But as far as an endgame, I don't think Gambit's going to do it. It could, but I don't see Gambit being that guy. Uh, Terra Dart, maybe. I have to kill his Valiant or significantly beat it down. Never, ever trust Gengar leads, guys. Gengar is one of the most untrustworthy leads in the game. Never trust the Gengar, bros. So we're knocking first. Now, what's the reason for this? Interesting. No split F drop, which is a blessing. They're always Ash. I found, at least. Uh, since he's 2 killing me from here, uh, we... I, You know, I literally, as I clicked Earthquake, I was like, I'm about to get Destiny bonded. For some reason, I bet Joey's going to literally watch that moment and, and see. And he's going to be like, he's about to Destiny bond. Joe, I can read your mind in the future because you haven't even seen this video yet. Yet I know what you're thinking. Just know that, bro. That's 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 brotherhood right there. So if Pex is finna toxic and have a blast. It's about to have a blast toxicing people. Can you believe I miss toxic? No people haven't seen Toxic Pex miss a toxic in years since they implemented that whole oh lum. Oh no. You know, I really shouldn't. Staying here and risk getting crit. But if he's Lum, that means he's not Life Orb, which means Rotom can come in. Mm, I'm going to protect here. Terra Dragon. Dragon Claw. I really need to hit this. You know what I should have done? I should have went to Obama Slayer. This was a misplay. If I saw a physical, it's very unlikely that... Like, me letting Rotom take this hit is an awful decision. Um, I know I won't take an uh, insane amount. He's seen protect, so he's gonna sword dance again. This allows for me to veil. There's no way Helly has Fire Fang. Okay. Look at the bomber snow go. Look at the bomber snow go. Decent guy. Get him. Get him. Now Cinderace can come in and court change. This is a bitch. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna leave this in if he tries to court change. I'm gonna blizzard. I'm gonna blizzard. Do I do that? Oh, it was valiant. 
Mm, goes valiant, valiantly. Uh, it may trick, but I, it's not the end of the world. As I said, I'm toxicing everybody in this bitch. Everybody gets toxic. Everybody takes a toxic. To everybody. Cinderace. Cinderace the toxic? Cinderace the, uh, I'm a double toxic here. Okay. Man is just frustrated. He's just frustrated. Okay, this game's over. But yeah, if y'all enjoy, we're going to switch to the Roaring Moon uh, team next. We're going to switch to the Roaring Moon team. We're getting higher up to where the games are uh, going to be a bit more competitive. But since you're saying that it's very weak, I might alter it a bit and just put the pecs on this as well. Just make it a peck score. Because uh, I don't want to go into the game and um, get bloodied by that. So, probably take out Sloking on that one as well as, uh, as my opponents just... Um, so he finally goes to the Valiant, but I got the Veil up. Uh, do I... Let's just give this up in case he tries to trick. Oh my god, he, I bet he's frustrated right now because I know he's choice. Oh, and that Veil went right back up. Oh yeah, you, you gotta be frustrated. You gotta be frustrated. I'm surprised... Uh, um, Mama Snow took literally nothing from that. I mean, I know it's resisted, but... Like, that literally did nothing. Wait, hold on. The bomb is only eight percent. Oh no, nah, that that thing might have been metronome. It did eight percent and fifteen percent the second time. That's that's an insane roll. It might have been metronome, and he's like, I want that that boost. But um, we're almost in the fourteen hundred. Only six hundred points left to go. I'll hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this live. Just, just something to enjoy on the Friday as we uh, grind to the top. And things are about to start getting gnarly because we're about to enter the 15... We'll blow through 1400s, I think, tomorrow. But we're going to enter the 1500s. You know how shit gets there, man. All kinds of crazy sets. So stay tuned for that. And if you are uh, climbing the ladder now, you can see... Let's so say you're in the 1400s right now. Um, you can see how to get around the goons um, and this team will do it so thanks for watching again in peace